In this video, I want to uh, use unit circle to find uh, the values of different trig ratios, basically sine and cos. So let me draw a unit circle. When we say unit circle, it's basically a circle with radius 1 and center at 0, 0. So this is center 0, our origin, and we've got a circle of radius 1. So at this point, is say uh, let's call this p sub p naught and the coordinate is one comma zero this is a p1 the coordinate is uh, zero comma one this is p2 coordinate of negative one comma zero and this is p3 which is 0 comma negative 1 and this is same as P4 P okay so let's draw a right angle triangle and let's take an arbitrary point P here having the coordinate x comma 1 and let's so this is an arbitrary angle theta so well uh, and so this is say M I can say, well, PM has to be X because the coordinate of P is X coordinate is X and OM is X, sorry, and PM is Y. And this OP is 1 because this is a unit circle. So using Sokatoa, I can say cos theta is equal to X over 1, which implies I can say multiplying both sides by 1, I can say cos theta is equal to x. So what's the meaning of this? This means when an angle, when a particle has moved anticlockwise, theta degrees, the x coordinate is going to be x. Same way I can say sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over 1, multiplying both sides by 1. I can say sine theta, sine theta is equal to y. So what is the meaning of this? This means when the particle has moved theta degrees, the y coordinate is, uh, sine theta is the y coordinate. Okay? Or if you think in a different way, x, you can say, is the is the distance horizontal distance or the distance from the y-axis is the is the distance from the y-axis that's a bit confusing and y is the vertical distance from the x-axis so cos theta or cos theta is basically telling you how far away the point is from the y-axis and sine theta is basically telling you the height of the point above x-axis when the particle has moved theta degrees. Okay, so using that fact, if that's the case, can I say, by just looking at this, cos 0 means how much? Looking at this, how much, how much is cos 0? Well, cos 0 means you're looking at the x-coordinate when the particle hasn't moved. That means it is still at p0. So that is 1. That's why cos 0 is 1. And what is sine 0? Sine 0 is the y coordinate when the particle, when the particle uh, hasn't moved. So that is 0. Again, look at this. What is cos, what is cos 90? Cos 90 means you're looking at which coordinate? You're looking at just the x coordinate. Cos 90 is 0, sine 90 is, sine 90 is 1. So basically, whenever you say cos of an angle, you're basically looking at the x and the y coordinate. So cos 180. So look at the x coordinate when the particle has moved 180 degrees. That means it is at this point. Okay, so, so this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees. So let me write here with a different color. So this is in terms of the particle moving, can I say this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, this is 270 degrees, 
and this is coming back to 360. Okay, so I can say, well, cos 180 is you are here, so the x coordinate is negative 1, and sine 180 is 0. I want you also to look at x and y. There is a relation between, uh, if you look at, so we'll come to that later. So cos 270, cos 270 is 0, and sine 270 is negative 1. Okay, same way cos 360, you have done one full rotation, the particle has moved three, one full rotation, so it's 1, and sine 360 is 0. And that's why a sine graph starts at 0 and ends at 0. The maximum is 1, minimum is negative 1. A cos graph starts at 1, finishes at 1, maximum is 1, and minimum is 1. The baseline is 0 in both the cases. Okay, so what, what else can you see here in this relationship? Okay, so let's see that. So can I say cos 0 is equal to sine 90? This is how people look at relationship and develop new relationship. Cos 90 is equal to sine 0. Okay. Uh, okay, so from this, what can you say? Well, this means you can say cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. Sine 90 minus theta. Or conversely, you can also say uh, sine theta. I'll show this in the calculator. Sine, sine theta. Sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. So what does this mean? This means, interestingly, so what can you see? So I'm just looking at this. I've developed a new rule, so I can say, well, looking at this, I can say, uh, let me write it here. Okay, so I can say if this fact I can say cos 30 should be how much? Sine 60. Okay. Can I say sine sine 30 should be cos 60? Or for that matter, these are exact. Uh, you can find exact values. You can say sine 20 is equal to cos 70. Okay, or, and that's why cos is basically the complementary of sine. Okay, and complementary are, in maths, complementary are two angles which adds up to 90. So can you see 20 plus 70 is 90, 30 plus 60 is 90, or say cos, cos, uh, say 40 is equal to sine 50. So let me show this on the calculator. So, uh, let's go cos 30. It is 0.86 sine 60. It is also 0.86. Sine 30, I know is half. I'm going to make a video on sine 30 to find other angles. Okay, and sine, sorry, sine, let me do it again. Sine 30 is half. So cos 60 is also going to be half. Sine 20, I don't know the value. But I know if cos 20 is this, cos 70 has to be the same value. Same one more, cos 40 and sine 50 would be the same. 